morning. This is Arnie Waters here at Waters Capital in Boston, Massachusetts. Gold is trading above 1670 this morning. We see this as extremely good behavior. Watch the European situation deteriorate. The reason this is all important is that the real opportunities to make money are going to be in what are called gold and platinum group metals. In other words, while you watch uh, the rest of the world's markets decline, here's an area you can get in and make money. We encourage you, I encourage you to take a look at our new partnership. Our new partnership is only lasting for a few years, but after the first six months, these it will become a stock and it will be publicly traded. So this is your opportunity to get in at uh, pre-opening prices and its focus is going to be on gold and uranium and rare earths and all the things which we've been managing effectively at an average up 30% over the last few years. Now, secondly, I'd like you to take a look at rare earths in through here. If you don't know what they are, look on your monitor on your computer. Look at the nice color you get. Look at the HDTV. Look at your iPhone. Look at your smartphone. All those things use rare earths to make the beautiful colors. In addition, rare earth magnets and rare earth minerals are used throughout hybrid vehicles, which as you know are a growth area, and there are many military and strategic uses of rare earths as well. We've been on this market for about two and a half years. Our clients have had a very positive result because of that. So please take a look at our commentaries. Our final, our only uranium comment for the morning is the issue of uh, demand increasing in Australia. It looks like there will be some power plants built uh, in India off of uranium discovered in Australia. And the Indians have uh, persisted in their desire to, to strengthen their nuclear power network over the next two decades. Now, on the gold front, lately, You've been hearing a lot about gold being a bubble. This is not true. Right now, gold demand is about to increase dramatically. At the end of the Ramadan season in the Islamic religion, there is a period of gift giving. In India, the festival of Diwali, D-I-V-A-L-I, begins in September. Throughout East Asia, this period, starting September, October, is a big, big jewelry demand time. Now, I take a lot of shots at China and India because they're really not democracies. One's a totalitarian regime, and the other, is an, the other one is um, an aristocratic oligarchy. But the rich people in this, those countries spend money like it's going out of style, and they buy a lot of gold. So that's going to be a big factor in the fall. And of course, heading into our own and Western Europe's Christmas season, this is a huge period of demand increase for gold when supply is declining. So when they tell you gold is a bubble, uh, we told you a year ago to buy gold, and gold is up $500. We told you to buy gold four years ago, and gold is up $1,000. So. We're telling you to continue to accumulate gold. There are no signs of a bubble or a top. And I didn't even talk today about the European situation or any of that stuff. So I want you to aim for the ice flows, look for the trouble spots, look for the opportunities to make money because that's how you make profits. This is Arnie Waters. Have a great day. Keep swinging.